Hi guys, my name is Shen and today I'm here to do my reading bullet journal flip through. This is what it looks like. I love this so much. It matches with my nails. I think it does. I painted my nail this color for this, okay? If you don't know, this is my 2019 and 2020 reading bullet journal. The first half is 2019 and then the last half will be for 2020. And I do want to say that I started this reading bullet journal in November. The first 10 months is just me recording stuff and me being creative, but I don't really Really utilize this reading bullet journal until November so that's when you get to see like the TBR page and like the reading recap page I was just having fun with um, this reading bullet journal but yeah that's basically it for the intro so I hope you will enjoy the flip through I think it looks very very nice so I'm very excited to show you what works for me what doesn't and what I'm going to change for the new year so hi this is my reading bullet journal so this is what it looks like when you open up the journal this is from Redbubble this this is actually a tarot card from the Harry Potter series. The artist is Loena. Art. This is her Instagram account. I love this picture so much. If you don't know, this is Hermione Granger from the Harry Potter series. I love, love, love this picture so much. As you can see here, this is the beginning page. I want to make it clear that this is for like the 2019 portion. And this sticker is from Brit, basically Brit's Etsy shop. And then here I have my top 19 books to read in 2019 spread. I really love this washi tape and if you watch my journal videos, you know that I use this again for my top 20 books to read in 2020. This red takes so much work, I remember doing this. So basically, I got this idea from Amanda Rach Lee. I know that she uses this red to do Polaroids, but I decided to do like favorite books of the year. So I pick a book at the end of the month and then I just glue the pictures right here. And then here is the last four months of um, the year. If you don't know, these are the characters from the Informed Devices trilogy, Will, Jem, and Tessa, my favorite trilogy, my favorite series of all time. So I'm so glad I did this. And then here, this is my aesthetic spread for The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. Basically, I decided to do aesthetic spreads at the end of the month. I would choose a book or two and then I just dedicate an entire spread for that book. So for January, I decided to do one for The Poet X, one of my favorite books of all time. This is definitely one of my favorite aesthetic spreads I have ever done. This is a picture from Liv, Olivia, and then I got this on Pinterest. Here is the Instagram handle. I wrote about my thoughts on this book and how much I love it. And then I put the sticker right here. This is from Redbubble. And then this sticker is from AliExpress. As you can see, in March, I decided to write down the author's name and I really like doing this. It looks better in my opinion. I've been doing this for quite a while now and I really like the way it looks. This is an aesthetic spread for Daisy Jones and the Six. And if you don't know, this is by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Here are two pictures of Jamie from Leo Reid. This sticker is from Redbubble. And then I wrote about my thoughts on the book. And I really like the spread because I just like that the color is like brown and black and white. They all fit really nicely. And here, this is an aesthetic spread for The Rest Girls of Magic, which is by Cassandra Clare. I am editing this video right now, and I just noticed that it only said Cassandra Clare. It's actually by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu, so don't worry, I fixed it off camera. I just wrote Wesley Chu's name on my journal, and I just want to notify everyone that this book is written by two authors, Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. As you can see here, I have two fan arts of Magnus and Alec, and I have the Instagram handle down here because I think it's very very important to do this. Always give credit to the people who draw these things. This is an aesthetic spread for Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I really like the way this looks. I'm not gonna lie, this was so tricky because this sticker was bigger than I thought. And if you're curious, this is from Redbubble. So I have a fan art of the Marauders. And then this scene is actually from the book. It's when Harry sees the stack and he's like, oh my god, prongs. I love, love, love this scene so much. And I'm so glad that I found this on Google. I basically just searched up Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban fan art and then this came Came up. So if you're curious, the artist is Ness Kane. 
Of course, I had to do one for Vicious by V.E. Schwab and I did something a little bit different basically I chose red as like the theme color and I wrote, you know, my thoughts in like red markers or like red pen, sorry And then I have some fan arts right here This is a sticker from Redbubble and I like the fact that there's like hints of red in all three pictures and yeah, I just like the way that they all match and here is an aesthetic spread for Harry Potter and the Goblet Fighter. If you don't know, this is like my favorite book of the series. This is one of the most satisfying spreads ever. I read 16 books in July. I was so happy to see that all 16 books fit in this spread right here. So it looks really pretty. I'm a big fan of it. And then I kind of realized that, wow, in order to achieve this amazingness, I have to read so many books per month. That's not possible for every single month, but hopefully I can do this again because like, look at this. They fit so nicely on this spread. Of course, I decided to do a spread for Red, White, and Royal Blues. I don't think you can see on camera, but the washi tape that I use is actually like rainbow holographic. Oh wait, can you see it now? So yeah, that's what it looks like. So here I have some fan arts of Henry and Alex, and then of course this picture right here, and then I just write about my thoughts on the book. Of course, I had to do one for The Rise of Kiyoshi. This is by FCE and Michael Dante DiMartino. I was really, really excited for this novel because I absolutely love Avatar Kiyoshi. I think she is a badass. And then, of course, I did one for The Prince and the Dressmaker. This is by Jen Wang. I love this graphic novel so freaking much. It's so cute and wonderful. So this is actually from the actual graphic novel. This is just like a fan art that I found online. Honestly, I really love this spread because I love this picture so much. I found this on Pinterest. I just searched up yellow aesthetic and then I found this. I was like, oh my god, perfect. And here I have a spread for Thunderhead by New Schusterman. As you can see here, I have a lot to say about the book and this sticker is from Redbubble. This is so funny. I found this on New Schusterman's Instagram page and I was dying when I saw this because there is a character named Scythe Beyonce <laughs> in Thunderhead and she's like a side character. Like we see her one time. I was like, oh my god, that's me if I were ever a side. So I decided to print out this picture and put it here and then this is a fan art of Rowan and Citra and there's like something romantic going on I don't really care about it anymore to be honest I just accept that they're a couple and then this is like one of my favorite spreads ever. Oh my god. So I will have like the picture popped up right here. I got inspiration from the picture on Twitter. I love that spread so much. So when I was redoing this entire reading bullet journal, I decided to do mine similar to that one. I decided to use this sticker right here. And I'm so glad I did because this is like one of my favorite stickers ever. This is from Red Bubble. As you can see, I almost became the avatar. I had like two prompts left and I finished these two books in October because I ran out of time. I think this looks really really nice and hopefully if this readathon is coming back in 2020, I definitely want to do this again. This is a spread for Harry Potter and the half Foot Prince and this sticker is from Redbubble. This is Luna, Hermione, and Ginny. As you can see, this is like a certain scene from the book, you know, at the end of that one chapter. Yep. This is definitely one of my favorite aesthetic spreads. As you can see, this is for Second Chance Summer by Morgan Madsen. It's a really sad summer contemporary novel. I love it so much though, so of course I really want to do one. And then of course I printed out some pictures that represent summer because this takes place in the summer. And then I wrote about the book right here and how much I love it and how much I really relate to the main character, Taylor. And then of course I have to do one for Formula Alchemist. I love the show, I love the manga. This is amazing. I finished the manga series in October, so that's why I'm doing a spread for this at the end of October. 
And then here, this is when we really start to utilize this reading bullet journal because as you can see, I have like my TBR page, I have my books read page, and I only read like four books in November. And then I tried this out and I love it so much. I think this looks really cute. So this is my reading recap page. And basically I just write about my reading month, what I read, what I like, what I don't like. And then this picture I got from Pinterest and then I have the um, user right here. And then here, this is my December 2019 spread. So as you can see, I have my days read page right here, my TBR page right here. I love doing this so much. I think it's very helpful and it really puts everything into perspective. So as you can see, as soon as I was finished with the fall semester, I started reading every single day. So that was really nice to see. And then here I have my reading recap spread for December 2019. I got this picture on Pinterest, but I cannot find the person who took this. It's really weird, like on Pinterest, sometimes the picture is from Instagram, sometimes the picture is from somewhere else. It was really, really hard to find the original source for this. I did not write their um, handle because I just don't know who took this. And then here, I did something a little bit different because I kind of realized that I might not fit 2020 into the rest of the reading bullet journal. So I'm just gonna try this out. So basically, instead of doing an entire spread for one book, I'm just gonna do one page for one book. I read The Afterlife of Holly J's. I decided to do a page right here. And then of course, I read Wicked Fox. I love it so much. So I did an entire page for this. And then here, this is like my favorite books of 2019 page and then like a stats page. This is just messy because um, I basically just write down the books that I love. It's in like the order of like how I read the books basically from January to December. And then this is like a stats page. When I was doing this, I was just kind of curious on like what I read the most. And as you can see here, I read manga the most. I read 30 manga. Shout out to Fullmetal Alchemist, Young Adult Contemporary 11, Young Adult Fantasy, or so that's very interesting, you know, it's nice to have this but at the same time hopefully in 2020 I will have like a better way to do the stats. I just did this like last minute for 2019. It doesn't look that good to be honest. It looks kind of basic. And then this is the very last page of 2019. So I got this from Goodreads. I read 100 books. It was a really great accomplishment. And then this is my 2020 portion, okay? So that's basically it for this reading bullet journal flip through. It's been really fun to look at everything. Now I know what works for me, what doesn't. So I cannot wait to do a lot of journaling videos in 2020. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. It was really fun to spend like a few weeks doing this reading bullet journal. And like I said, I'm planning to do a lot of journaling videos in 2020. So subscribe because you know, I will upload a monthly plan with me for every single month of <laughs> Obviously, so I'm very excited for that. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys later. Goodbye!